Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Let's say we're going to take a quick look at whether or not cheap Windows 10 product keys actually work. And the answer, which we like to say, as you can see here in the background, we'll be following this guide a little bit. The answer is yes, no, and maybe. Problem is you don't know where the key's coming from. So here's one of my searches right here. We can see all the different prices. I prefer to pick somebody I know, New Egg. And I'm not knocking any one of these websites. That's up to you. But I'm not handing my credit card over to a website I don't recognize. So as you can see, there's all these different prices, and they're all Better Business Bureau and Five Star, and fully equipped and tested by no anybody can say that. They might be legit. I don't know. So I would be careful where you go to begin with. Um, that all said, keep in mind if you have Windows 7, you can upgrade to 10 for free. If you don't and you need a key, you can actually go ahead and install Windows 10, skip the product key on install, and you can use Windows. Now, as you can see right here, this is how my VMware, my virtual machine is why I needed a second key, had to be activated before I can personalize. So you're not gonna be able to personalize Windows, but you can fully use Windows 10 just like you always would, complete with Windows updates and everything you need. So that's something to consider. Maybe you just don't need a product key just for the basics, why bother? Anyhow, and again, that's all covered here. So for fun, we went on eBay and we bought a $3.72 license there. As you can see, I've personalized my VMware now and it's working. So that's not bad, $3.72. I could do that once a year for, for 30 years before I'd have to pay for a Windows 10 key. So it's not horrible. And here's the proof that I bought it right here. Some guy with not a lot of sales. So as you can see, everything worked out for us. Now let's discuss where these keys come from. And there's also a link right here where you could check if your Windows version that you currently have is retail OEM or volume, which we're just about to discuss. And you can follow this guide here really, really easy with an explanation of what a retail license is. OEM comes with your computer and volume licenses. Now, when you run into these cheap keys, you're probably running into volume, but some people might purchase education keys and sell them at a higher price. Some people get better deals in other countries and, and you, you know, whatever, they give you a better deal. So you have volume licensing as well. So that's something where a corporation buys them or a government institution. Somebody could be selling a bunch of those keys where they think they have thousands and thousands to sell. And sooner or later, Microsoft is going to cut them off. And that's when your key expires. Another risk which we earlier discussed was if you purchase using your credit card, they could get your credit card information. They could sell you a key that doesn't work, just send you a key and you'll never hear from them again. So yeah, it does work. It's just a matter of what you need to do. So once again, when you go in here to the Windows 10 product key, Google's not what it used to be. So as you can see, we're not getting anything really super helpful here, but how to retrieve your key, da, 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 da. So, you know, you can look for a, a trusted website like Newegg. Why I bought the $3.72 key was I'm on eBay. So at eBay, I can use my PayPal account, my credit card remains safe, and I'm not giving up any personal information. So I, I'm not totally against that. Just be aware that most of the time when you buy one of these keys at that price, you will find out that those keys will expire sooner or later. So for me, I'm assuming that this will expire and I'll have to buy another one. So there you go, eBay, $3.98. Even, even the cheap keys are all over the place. So Windows 10, genuine. It's probably genuine, but not quite. And then there's other websites that actually tell you, hey, here's a key you can put in that works. Once again, remember, you don't need to put a key in. So Amazon's offering them. But if you go to eBay and click here, we'll see what we got. So you can see the actual close to them, put it in here. So there's about your average price for a legit Windows 10 with a DVD it is about a hundred bucks, but you don't need the DVD. You just need a key because you can download the Windows 10 ISO download to Google, Google it or grab it from Major Geeks. And as you can see, it's five bucks. And by the way, the guy sent me the key. I got that key in a minute or two, three bucks. And if you list by price, sometimes you know how eBay works. It can get a little confusing. So price and shipping low is first. Let's see who's got the cheapest. $1.09. Now you can take a little more weight to the product ratings. You can see it's from Bosnia. Um, it just depends on what you want to do. $1.19 shows you sold 50 of them. 
no reviews dollar 20 I mean I hate to be that guy but again you could do this 30 times before you well you could do what somebody do some math for me 80 times maybe before you get up to your $99 so there you go it's just something a little fun uh, the, the story's been very popular the debate down here has been going on and there you go I thought you guys would get a kick out of this so just understand that there's a good chance you're buying a volume licensing key if you spend just a couple of dollars and your key will probably expire so hey leave a comment in the video stop by this page leave a comment here like our page like the video don't like it I don't know hey as always thanks for watching we'll see you next time